Oggi sono I am right where Lake Garda tightens and becomes a river and flows towards the city of Mantua and the river Po. A beautiful bike path starts right here and follows the flow of the river Mincio for over 25 miles, connecting this city to Mantua. This is Italian travel. Welcome to Peschiera del Garda. One of the most suggestive areas of Peschiera is the one close to the pedestrian bridge that crosses the external canal of the ancient fortress at the height of Porta Brescia. I am over Porta Brescia, the ancient western gateway to the fortress. Peschiera rises on an island that over the years has been equipped with defensive walls and bastions to ensure the safety of the city. Together with Mantua, Verona and Legnago, it's part of a huge defensive structure built by the Austrians. An ancient petrol walkway that joins the bastions is still accessible. Don't miss it, because walking along it will pledge you with a beautiful view over the city and you will appreciate glimpses that otherwise you would miss. As you enter the old town and follow the defensive walls, right beyond the Tognon Bastion you reach the harbour where both trips lead to discover Peschiera and the main towns on the lake. Continuing, you will find an historical building known as the Palazzina di Comando. In this very building, right after the defeat of Caporetto, the glorious resistance on the Piave River was planned. Inside, the hall where the King Vittorio Emanuele III and the Allies gathered for the historic conference in Peschiera del Garda. That room has been untouched for over a hundred years. The tour of the defensive walls leads to the Voltoni Bridge, with beautiful cotto tiles arches, overlooking the central canal where the fishermen boats stand orderly. On the other side of the bridge you can also admire the islet, beyond which the waters of Lake Garda pour into the river Mincio. If you plan to stay in Peschiera for more days, I suggest you to spend some time in one of the many amusement parks that have helped making this town popular. There are many, but the most famous are Gardaland, which offers many attractions, rides, roller coasters, shows, and also restaurants and hotels. If you prefer, you can choose Caneva World. There you have a water park with many pools, attractions, slides, and chill out areas. Or Movieland an amusement park dedicated to movies with stuntmen and actors who will set up entertaining shows to make you live the magic of Hollywood. But if you prefer to relax on the beach, here there are plenty of chances. Half a mile from the center of Peschiera you reach the Cappuccini beach. You find it after the harbour, at the end of Lungolago Mazzini. The access to the beach is free, you can rent sunbeds, deck chairs, there is a restaurant and children can also have fun in the playground with slides, swings and trampolines. Another half a mile towards Sirmione you can find the Braccobaldo beach, also equipped with all the facilities you might need and it's also one of the first beaches in Italy where it's allowed to bring your dog.
oltre all'importanza storica. Thanks to the historical relevance, the sunny beaches, the most popular amusement parks in Italy, today Peschiera del Garda is a first-rate tourist center. Hotels, campsites, holiday homes are literally rushed by more than 800.000 tourists every year. You know, during the summer Peschiera del Garda doubled its population. Many events are organized over the year. Festival of street artists, sailing regattas, excursions to discover the wineries in the surroundings, a town festival with the Venetian-style race around the fortress walls, fireworks from the Voltoni Bridge, carry rallies and so on. And in such a place, of course, you have lots of restaurants, shops, bars, pubs. The old town of Peschiera del Garda is filled with and his streets are enlivened 24 hours a day by tourists and locals. And this was Peschiera del Garda. We're done. I'm going to have a delicious tortellini. While I recommend you to subscribe my channel, put a nice thumb up if you like Peschiera del Garda. As always, in the description of the video you find links and useful information. If you have doubts, ask me in the comments below. Italian Travel!